It's going to be a long year, so I'm going to take these moments of Denny Anthea playing great basketball, you know, as much as I can. Like, I'm going to enjoy them. So, Denny tonight had 22 points. Kyle Kuzma had 25. Kyle Kuzma's, you know, always going to be dropping 20, 20 points. But this year, we're really going to see Denny hopefully take those steps to develop. I mean, tonight he had 16 field goal attempts. He had more field goal attempts than Jordan Poole. Oh, my God. All right. And I honestly, I mean, shout out Eugene Amorui, who just can't miss right now for us. But in this game, yes, we lost to the Hawks. But my man, Denny Avdia who had 22 I, I feel like this this is a team that yes you know the wizards came off that game where we just got blown out by the celtics that we fell by 23 points in the first quarter and this you know we were missing daniel gafford gafford for the second straight game and mike muscala started tonight and Corey casper hurt his ankle so we really needed denny to come in and pick up the pieces and that's what he did i mean dude the six foot nine point forward who tonight showed multiple levels of his game he showed you know he had five rebounds three assists two steals one block showed his well-roundedness he has in the nba he also went two of four from three like i said 10 of 16 from the field and he showed you know his ability to handle the ball he won't get pickpocketed he you know the jump shot's starting to come through it's got that clean repeatable form and it, it seems like it's legit and he's a guy who has this high-end processing speed and you know he's he's a guy that people think you can beat on you know defense while he's on defense but he's a lot better than you think so i think getting to see denny have a game like this tonight where he was going out getting his shots and you know picking his spots and it seemed like he was having fun out there i definitely i thought it was one of the more fun things you know you saw denny he had a couple two long threes where he had those i think they're were, they're were both step backs on the left side of the wing and i think they were meant to be three-point shots that he just didn't step back far enough maybe i'm wrong but he did a good job of primarily taking shots inside the paint like within the five feet of the basket and or you know near the three-point line so i think you know his shot selection is good and seeing denny out there just play and be himself is good and to know he's still you know he has the energy and he's having fun out there because again at the end of the day that's the most important thing is for him to be able to be comfortable in his own skin and to get back to the player that we know he could become so that's where i want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section what do you guys expect from denny Alfia this year he needs to keep playing like this because it's fantastic i'm enjoying it he's looking like the guy and I, I do want to say he's in an opportunity where where casper's going to be playing more of the two kuz is the is the four so denny's playing the three and He's a guy that a lot of people miss, act like he's bust or something because when he came out, it was the year after Luka Doncic and people are acting like he's supposed to be like Luka because he had also won, you know, a European League MVP. I mean, Felipe Petras had won the Adriatic League MVP and no one's out here calling him Jokic. So I don't get why people were acting like because Denny Optio won the Israeli MVP while Luka won Euro League MVP. It was, I guess, the same, if they were the same player. It was something that I always thought was weird, but here nor there. I want to hear your guys' thoughts, though, down below. What you guys think of Denny Avdia? I thought it was a I thought it was a good game, and no, man, it was fun. It was fun, and I like it, okay? So, it's going to be it for me, guys. If you guys did enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe.